guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the movie Goldfinger. A new month has begun which means it's time to review the next James Bond movie. So in this movie, James Bond is on a mission to stop the criminal Goldfinger and know what he's up to. Now I'm going to start by talking about the protagonist of the movie, James Bond. James Bond is a British agent. But you know what? I liked James Bond a lot more in this movie than I liked him in the previous James Bond movies that came before it. Yeah, I think he is a lot more likable in this movie and I liked him a lot in From Russia With Love. What makes him more likable in this movie than previous ones is the fact that he's smarter in this movie, knows what he's doing, and best of all, he actually uses more gadgets in this movie than previous ones, which I will be talking about later in the review. James Bond is, of course, yet again played by Sean Connery, and yeah, he did better duo playing as James Bond than he did in previous movies. But enough about that, it's time to talk about the villain of the movie, Arak Goldfinger, played by Grat Frapp. You know, Goldfinger is truly a fucking awesome villain. Now, unlike in the James Bond movies made before this one, I actually get to know the villain a lot. The movie focuses a lot on the main villain of the movie, and I get to know who he is and what he does. Goldfinger truly is a fucking awesome villain. I really like him a lot. He is a very smart millionaire and there are several people that work for him. Now, I was not rooting for him, but I can't say that I disliked him. I didn't hate the main villain of the movie at all. He always he had something interesting to say and he also did several very interesting things. So I can't really hate him, even though he's the villain of the movie. I would even go as far to say that he is my favorite James Bond villain so far. Of course, he is my favorite James Bond villain of all the three James Bond movies I have reviewed so far. And I would say that he is even better villain than the villain in the movie Skyfall. So yeah, Goldfinger is a fucking awesome villain. Now it's time to talk about Pussy Galore, played by Honor Blackman. Now it's no surprise that James Bond spends a lot of time with women. He has done it a lot in James Bond movies and this one is no exception. The main female supporting character of the movie is Pussy Galore. And James Bond is really in love with her. Galore helps James Bond quite a lot in this movie. I will say that I didn't like her nearly as much as I liked James Bond and Goldfinger, but she was still a pretty good character. Now it's time to talk about the gadgets. Oh my god, this movie has a lot of fucking gadgets. And you know what? The gadgets used in this movie are fucking awesome. My favorite one was when James Bond was using a tracing device on Goldfinger's car to know exactly where he is and spy on him without him knowing about it. There are of course more gadgets used in this movie. And it wasn't just James Bond himself that used awesome gadgets in the movie. Goldfinger also used some pretty awesome gadgets himself. Now it's time to talk about the action and that's where this movie really shines. This movie is fucking action packed. There's a lot action in this movie and I think all the action of this movie is fucking awesome. And for a lot of the movie I was like fuck yeah. Of course this movie also had good story to go along with all that awesome action but it's unbelievable how fucking awesome the action is in this movie. In fact this movie has more action in it than the two James Bond movies released before it and it works perfectly for this movie. 
Now it's time for my overall thoughts. Overall, this is the best James Bond movie I have reviewed so far. It has a fucking awesome villain. It's action packed and the action is fucking awesome. And James Bond is his best in this movie. But you know what? I'm going to give this movie two thumbs up. I will be reviewing the fourth James Bond movie in April. Until then, I will review some other movies and make other content. That's all I gotta say, people. Thank you for watching and have a great day.